Hello people, today we are going to talk about something that's been bothering me and I think a lot of people and that is the, the communication around the COVID and the, the vaccines and all that from the media outlets and from governments and from almost everyone basically. And I'm not going to argue for or against the vaccine. I personally took the vaccine because I thought that that's, that's a good option. And that's that. Um, my problem is with the communication. And we have a solution for that, which is going to be Dr. John Campbell, for example. You hear every day about COVID, about the vaccines and all that. But the only thing that you hear is nothing useful. What, what they say is that, well, those who don't take the vaccine are bad. Those who take it are good. Or you should take the vaccine because because people are dying and you are causing it and, and all that. So, so what they're trying to do is basically argue with an emotion, argue with, with nothing, basically. What you could do uh, something with is statistics and real arguments. Like, I'm, I'm not hearing anywhere important statistics that the people are, people are worried about. Like, how many people are, people are getting heart disease after the vaccine or, or how many are not? Like at first it was completely denied and now they are, they are, they are going uh, with ads on the TV that, uh, yeah, it's highly unlikely. What does that mean? Like one in a hundred, one in a thousand, one in a million or what is highly unlikely? I'm, I, I can't do anything with that. So, so again... The same thing is like, you don't need to know. All you need to know, it's highly unlikely and you should do what we say. I think it's, it's the good option to do it, like get vaccinated and all that. I just don't, I just don't see how the, the way that they are communicating is good. I think the way that they are communicating this whole thing is the reason why people don't want to get the vaccine, who don't want to get it. And the solution to this is, for example, Dr. John, John Campbell, who is going through statistics and uh, going through studies and going through the different, different, uh, different things that you should pay attention to. And, uh, and really helping people. And you can see that on his subscriber and view count is going parabolical because it feels a need that is that is a very big need now around the world which is something other than feelings i don't care what uh, what feelings you want to push on me what i care about are things that i can decide on and and i think many people are, are like that for example the white house just has on his web on, on its website a statement that basically says those of us who are vaccinated are going to have a winter with uh, cold like symptoms and all that and the vaccinated uh, people uh, for the vac for the unvaccinated people uh, basically death is waiting and uh, you are going to fill up our hospitals and cause many people to die that's that statement which might be um, true i don't know i'm not a doctor it, it might be true, but the way it's communicated is that, well, you are bad and you are good and uh, feel bad. And uh, I don't know, I guess they, they want to get people to get vaccinated with this tactic that they are pushing that, okay, this is a feeling. You should feel that and that should make you get vaccinated. What I think is, is the more effective tactic would be to sit down day after day with doctors and stuff and just as as dr john campbell is doing goes through the statistics if you are right which i guess it, it does seem that they are right then you can just go through the statistics and and just prove your point but but you're not gonna you're not gonna convince people by trying to push them huge amount of emotions and make them feel bad that's 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 just a really bad way to to try to convince people i think and uh, and i think that 
well, if this is the problem that people are not getting vaccinated, then you are causing that problem in a huge way, I think. And and I, I just I just don't know why. Like, uh, it's, it's just dumb. It really is dumb. And I, I think it should change. And people like Dr. John Campbell should be on the news and should be explaining these things. And instead of all the politicians saying things like like what I just described, I don't wanna I don't wanna see you, I don't wanna see another politician. You don't know nothing about illnesses or vaccines, you are a politician. Just go away and give the people things that they can decide on and that can convince them instead of you pushing your speech and agenda and I don't know what, but but it's just not the right way to communicate, I think. And uh, yeah, uh, until that happens, if that ever happens, which I'm sure it will not, but, but uh, fortunately there are now people, for example, on YouTube, for example, Dr. John Campbell, who is feeling that need for the people. So yeah, if, if you're interested in that, then uh, go there and check it out and help yourselves out, I guess, because it seems that... Uh, yeah, you need to do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, stay safe and uh, have a good day and a good uh, Christmas and all that. Goodbye.